Hi, this is Henning from flipnormals.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how the bridge tool inside of Modo works. At its core, it's a very simple tool. By going under duplicate, bridge, and left mouse button, it will bridge the selected edges together into polygons. This is a very handy and basic tool, but it goes fairly deep as well. If you hold on left mouse button and dragging, you're gonna have, um, you can see you add segments. There are some something funky happening though. And that's because we have the content preset enabled uh, over here under lists, tool pipe. Sometimes if you mess been messing with the content presets uh, or profiles, you're gonna get this issue here. So undo, uh, right mouse button on it and hit remove tool. Just a little pro tip there if you ever, if that ever happens to you. We can now again, just uh, left mouse button drag and it's gonna add segments the more you're left the more you drag with left mouse button. So at its core, it's a very simple and nice tool to use. You have a several, um, there's several uses though for it, which can be more advanced and handy. And I'll go through some of those now. First off, we have a cylinder here, um, which you can use profiles on. Let's say you want to make some kind of arch or some kind of uh, column or something. We can now activate the bridge tool and uh, go under profiles and select the profile which you prefer this is a left mouse button drag is still gonna add segments to it this can be a great start for something like a column or various architectural uh, models gives you very quick and cool results so these are just some of them just try and experiment with them on your own uh, Again, right click on content preset and remove it because you don't want that in the future. Still here, right click, remove. Uh, let's go under cylinder again. Here's another tip for cylinders. You have, um, if you want to cap them off, make it into a quad, you can delete this. You can, uh, this, this cylinder here is for as a uh, 16 segments around and, um, that's divisible by four. So I select four edges here. I select four edges on the other side. Now I have four edges in between them as well. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and four and four. Activating the bridge tool with auto connection and continuous bridge active, it's gonna cap the cylinder, which is very nice. So it's gonna be a nice quad cylinder. Next thing, is um, looking at model here. Something you do all the time on modeling is that you have to fill in an area such as this. The way you would normally fill this in without the bridge tool uh, would be something like selecting these, uh, edge extension out, edge extension, edge extension, and so on and so forth. And then just manually welding it together. With the bridge tool, however, in Modo, uh, you can um, simply select the area, three edges here, three edges here, running the bridge tool with the auto connection and continuous bridge enabled and simply left mouse button. This is a huge help. Before this was added, we had to do it the old school way still, which was this and then um, manually connecting the dots. So this can be done in all sorts of ways. Very handy. You can also use it for, um, like if, if you have like a strip like this, where there's only one edge at each end, you can just select one of the edges and just hit, use your hotkey or just use bridge. So this is pretty cool. You can go all the way from here down to here. And then if you want to fill this in, this is something which would be tedious to fill in without the bridge tool. You can simply hit shift B or the hotkey and you're gonna get a nice little fill. The last thing that I want to show you is that this is an amazing tool uh, as it's really powerful as well. Here's a polygon plane. I've subdivided up to 2 million polygons and I removed in a part. And um, you can fill this plane in really easily with a bridge tool. This is a, a task which would be really, really hard to do without this kind of tool.
navigation becomes a little funky when I have this kind of selection going. So we just select the border, the in edges here. Select the edges here. And now simply run the bridge tool. Now we're going to wait a little bit, uh, but by the magic of uh, video editing, we're now just going to skip all the wait. And about 30 seconds later, we can now see that this entire polygon grid has been filled in for us. This is literally 2 million polygons been filled in in about 30 seconds, which is again a task which would have been tremendously hard without a tool like this. So to sum it up, the bridge tool is a really useful tool. It does basic bridging by selecting one edge and the next edge. It also works with polygons, so you can have um, something like a cylinder like this. Let's just delete the interior borders or the these here, just cap these, select double click the edge and select P, the polygon. And you can now just cap this or bridge this as well. It doesn't have to be uh, edges. It can also be used on something like uh, making this a quad cylinder. And I messed up my count. And there we go. And filling in something like a curved surface such as this, which is extremely handy in so many cases. Uh, I recommend spending some time with the bridge tool and really learning how to use it, as it's going to save you so much time. And that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And feel free to check out our, our tutorial section.